Hey guys, I'm Daisha and I am here bringing you some Hearthstone and today I'm going to be playing some Arena. I haven't done a regular old Arena run for a while. I'm almost out of gold. I need to win this one. Um, I have some quests so I could do Hunter, Mage, Priest. Or, uh, yeah, either Priest or Hunter. I haven't done a Priest in a very long time. But I think that's just because I hate Priest in the Arena. Um, I really am I'm just not a huge fan of it. But, you know, uh, whatever, I'll give it a shot. How bad could it actually be? Ooh. Spicy first pick, Shadow Madness or Azure Drake? Probably just the Azure Drake. Shadow Madness is very good. You can often get a two for one out of it, but Azure Drake is just always a two for one. Excuse me, it's always a two for one. And it has an extra bonus, so I think I'm just gonna take the Drake. But I think it is pretty close. Um so the thing about Shadow or Death is you don't really want more than one of these in your in your limited deck, because otherwise you could just be stuck with two of them in hand and getting beaten down by four power creatures, and uh, that's also pretty bad for you. Fan Creepers in, in average cards, like, middle of the road pretty much. I think it's, I think average is really just the best way to describe it, but I don't know, I'll take, I'll take my one Shadow or Death and... Hopefully I don't have to take another one. See, this is the main reason why I took it is just because I didn't want to start out with exactly two five drops because when I have the choice of Thought Steel or Silver Hand Knight, Silver Hand Knight is just a lot better and it's a much more powerful card than something like Thought Steel. Um, Thought Steel is good. You get to it gives you some some amount of card advantage, but not doing anything on turn three is often pretty terrible, especially since your hero ability doesn't put a board presence or take away their board presence. So if you don't have a two drop or th and your three drop is thought steal, then you can actually just fall way behind and just lose the game on the spot. Okay, so all these are, are really, really terrible. Divine Spirit has potential if you get um, like light spawns and stuff like that. Silence is just not worth a card. Even tacked onto like an Iron Beak Owl, it's not even that good because the two-one body is is barely worth a card, and the Silence is barely worth a card. So overall, it's still barely worth a card. Uh, Mind Blast is just not worth a card at all. Dealing five damage to your opponent is really irrelevant, pretty much for the most part. Unless it's the last five damage, it's not going to do you any good. And this card at least has the potential to affect the Born and the game state. So um, that's why I like it the best. Shadow Word Pain. This card is very hard to get something better than. I mean, you can destroy any minion with three attack or less. That could go up to a four drop, even a five drop if they play Fen Creeper. And that's just insane if you can get that kind of advantage. Shattered Sun isn't so bad, and it's like a pretty reasonable three drop, but I don't have any twos yet. That, that being said, I still have 25 more picks, so I'll probably find them. But Shadow Word Pain, there's so few cards that I would take over Shadow Word Pain. Alright, so I have my choice of my first 2-drop or a Holy Smite. The turtle's not really in the discussion. Um, this is just a fine 2-drop. It's not terrible. It's not great. It might have some small added upside in Priest if I end up picking up Gurbashi Berserkers or Raging Wargans or something like that. Or even Norshire Clerics. Because if I just injure a couple of minions, then I can heal them up. Sometimes it's hard to get your min minions injured without being dead. So it has some small added upside. Other than that, it's just like a pretty good card. It's a little bit random, but most of the time it ends up working out for you. And Holy Smite is just a good removal spell. Or not a good removal spell, it's like a fine removal spell. I think, I'm, I, I, think I tend to not take these, so in this case I'm going to pick it and see how it goes. Alright, so Holy Nova is a pretty clear pick here. Nobish Inventors is, is probably in the discussion, but taking Area of Effect is very, very important because if you don't pick it up, then you'll be severely weak, um, whereas if you did pick it up, then you'd be in a much better spot. Nobish Inventor, though, is just a 2 for 1. I mean, the 2-4 the body isn't amazing, obviously, for 4 mana. You'd want to pay, like, 2, maybe 3 mana for it. You could probably play 3 mana and be okay. Um, but the tacked on draw card is very useful, so I'm going to take the Holy Nova still, just because it's a more powerful card overall. I'm going to take a second Holy Nova, mainly because neither of these two are very good. If there was like a Chillwind Yeti, then I would definitely take that over the second Holy Nova 8th pick, but um, that being said, Inner Fire is not really a consideration. It could be a very powerful card, especially with Divine Spirit, but for the most part, I don't want to play this card. I'll play it if I have to, if I get a choice of this and two other ver very bad cards like Mind Blast and Silence, then I'll immediately take Inner Fire. I don't think it's completely unplayable. I just don't think it's very good. And the same with Dark Scale Healer. I mean, this is 
it's overcosted, sort of. I mean, not, it's not really overcosted because a four or five is you're happy to get it for four. But if you add one more mana and just add like a mediocre ability, then it doesn't become good. But then again, you couldn't print this card at four mana because then it would just be broken. So it's not really overcosted. It's just it's not something that I want for the, for the cost. I'd rather um, I'd rather get something better out of it. All right, I think it's time that I need to start picking up minions. I have. And I have an Azure Drake and a Silver Hand Knight, and that's it. So, sorry, at least might maybe next time. But today I'm gonna pick an, a Youthful Brewmaster. Acolyte of Pain isn't a real minion; it's kind of like a card advantage minion. So it doesn't really fit the bill of I want to get dudes on the table as quickly as possible. Youthful Brewmaster does uh, fit that bill. All right. So what's better, Argent Commander or Holy Fire? That's actually a really tough one, and I, I'm I'm just completely unsure. I'm gonna assume Holy Fire, since it does a very similar thing to Argent Commander. Argent Commander does one less damage, but leaves around a 4-2. Holy Fire um, restores 5 health to you, which can be very useful, and I think I'm probably gonna be falling behind in these games, especially with my lack of board, so I'd rather gain the life back. Alright, so I think Light Spawn is gonna be the pick here, with my one Divine Spirit already. It makes it, I think that makes it a little bit better than Spiteful Smith. Spiteful Smith is fine because a 4-6 for 5 is fine. It's not good, but it's fine. And uh, Warrior Infiltrator is actually also a pretty decent card, but it's kind of like an early removal spell as opposed to a board presence creature. Light Spawn is kind of the exact kind of creature that I want, other than the fact that it can just get silenced and make me a very sad panda. All right, I'm going to go with a North Shire Cleric here with a bunch of removal that makes it um, a lot better. So I have a Holy Smite and a Shadow Word Pain for now. Maybe I'll get some more later. I don't know. Divine Spirit is also pretty good with Shinoishire Cleric. Power Word Shield is really best with it, but we'll see if we can pick one of those up later. Alright, as I said, it's very hard to pass up on a Shadow Word Pain. Even a very good card like Silver Hand Knight is not going to let me do it. I'm, I'm not overloaded on fives. I have these two Holy Novas, but those aren't really... You don't really count those for five drops. You really want to count Azure Drake and Silver Hand Knight as opposed to... Uh, as opposed to Holy Nova when you're thinking about which cards are actually 5 drops. Shadow Word Pain, on the other hand, is just amazing, and I mean, I could go go in depth on it again, but basically the same thing as before, you're just going to be able to spend a lot less mana to kill a bigger thing, or at the very least trade equal mana for equal mana, and you're going to be happy about it. Very happy <laughs> to be seeing this pack. Dark Iron Dwarf is best when you have a lot of minions, so he might not be at his best in this match. Spellbreaker, on the other hand, is very good, but at the same time, my removal can do the job of silencing. I don't think I want a Temple Enforcer yet. I'd rather take a 4-drop, even though Temple Enforcer is a pretty good card. So I think I'm going to take the Dark Iron Dwarf on the suspicion that I will pick up enough minions to actually play a deck, because I, <laughs> I really need to work on that. So Storm and Champion is best in a deck with a lot of minions, and that's just not going to be this deck. So I think Worgen Infiltrator might be a reasonable pick over it. I mean, this card is sometimes just incredible, and you play it, and your opponent's like, oh, how can I ever win this game? But you usually have to have a board presence out for that. That being said, it's going to be pretty easy for me to protect my board presence, so I will have whatever creatures I draw. I, I, can, pl I can keep those creatures in play, because I'll be able to remove their creatures instead of having to trade. So Solomon Champion might get some value there. And I'm, I'm not really a huge fan of Worgen Infiltrator, doesn't really do much for me in terms of giving me a board presence. All right, I'll think I'm, I think I convinced myself to take the Stormwind. I was originally leaning towards Worgen Infiltrator, but Stormwind might actually be pretty good in this deck. All right, I think I'm going to take the Worgen Infiltrator here. Nightblade doesn't really do much for for what I want. I don't want a five mana four four that's dealing extra damage. I don't want a three mana undercosted body that's like barely a taunter. <laughs> I, uh, what I want is something that I can drop and take control of the board. I want Scarlet Crusaders, I want Harvest Golems, um, I want more two drops and that kind of thing, but Worgen Infiltrator will have to suffice as a backup to uh, to go ahead and trade with their two drops, hopefully. Alright, I mean, I'm going to take this Shattered Sun Cleric. It's pretty risky considering I have one two drop and two one drops, so I really need to pick up more creatures, but I mean, I know that going into the second half of this arena run, so that's what I'm going to try and do. And this is something that's very, very important in any arena that you do. Make sure that you pick cards to fill your weaknesses. So right now, this card is filling a weakness in that it's a 3-drop, 
but on the other hand it is a card that needs support around it to be good so it is a little bit of a risky pick it's on the the suspicion that i will pick up two drops and i'm going to take another one here um, they're also pretty good in multiples they're not very good but they're okay in multiples and these other two cards are pretty weak and it's re it would be really a shame to pick one of them up over another shattered sun which has potential to be a very strong card I think Temple Enforcer is a little bit better than either of these. So I'm going to go ahead and pick it. But Tiger is pretty good. And I don't have too many 6. I don't I mean I only have one 6 drop and one 7 drop. So it's not a it's not a concern to pick up cards that are too large. All right. So got a 3 drop. South Sea Captain Mountain Giant, not things that I'm really ever looking to play. Mountain Giant very very rarely, but yeah, Blood Knight's pretty good. If you can steal a divine shield then you're probably winning that game. Not like 80% of the time, I don't know, not 80% of the time. It, it gives you like a 10% bump in whatever you were um, supposed to win. I don't know. So if, if your opponent was in a winning position and you were probably at 40% to win the game and then you play this thing, then it could switch it to 50% or even 60%. I don't know. It's a very good card when it works. And it's a very average card when it doesn't work. It's a 3-3 three, three for 3, so it's like the same as South Sea Captain. <laughs> I don't know. It's It's usually pretty good. I'll take one mind control. I don't really want more than one, but one's not so bad. Gives me a trump in the late game. Um, okay, so let's see. I have two four drops. This thing is pretty terrible. Stranglethorn Target is a lot better, and I only have two five, so I think I can afford to take it. But I really, I'm hoping to just see any two mana three two at this point. Silence is really bad. Voodoo Doctor, unfortunately, very terrible. So I will take another three drop. Okay, <laughs> we got ourselves a pick here. Three very, very playable rares. So Injured Blade Master, probably not going to be the pick just because I have four threes already. Well, four is not even that many. Shadow Madness, on the other hand, might actually be the pick because I'm expecting to get in trouble in the early game with, with two mana three twos, and then this guy just completely destroys that game plan and then Sunwalker is also a good one because I'm expecting to get behind on board and it can stabilize the board very well then again most people do play mage and this card is pretty bad against mage they just ping the divine shield and then it's just a six mana four or five taunt which is pretty bad so I'm gonna ignore Sunwalker for now I think it gets a little bit worse when people aren't pl when people are playing too much mage um, so injured blade master or shadow madness I do have two shadow word pains which kind of take the job of shadow madness this card sometimes is just a dead card in hand, whereas Blade Master is so good in Priest. I think I'm going to have to go ahead and take this Blade Master, but I'm not 100% sure if that was the right pick. Um, I'm going to take the Gadgets, and I have, I have a bunch of spells. Not an insane amount, but enough for it to be pretty good. These other two cards are very terrible. That's why I'm even considering this one. But yeah, I'm just hoping that two of my next five picks at least are two mana 3-2s or two mana 2-3s. Alright, well, I'll take another Holy Nova, because the other two cards were very bad. Alright, so we got a 2-mana two 2-3, two, or a Scarlet Crusader. I don't think I can take the Venture Co. here. I have too many 5s. I mean, I have too many late-game cards. I need an early-game card. And I think, because I took the Injured Blade Master, I'm just going to have to take the 2-mana two 2-3. Two, it's really sad, because these two cards are both significantly better than River Crocolisk or Blood Cell Raider without any weapons. But I still have no real choice because I need two drops. I mean, I have Youthful Brewmaster, and that's it. So I definitely got to take the two drop here. Going to take another two mana, two three. Um, I'm not taking it over anything particularly good this time, but still disappointing that I couldn't get uh, two mana, three twos. I think I'm actually just going to take this Novice Engineer here. It's not a very good two drop, but at least it is a two drop, and it'll cycle through my deck a little bit faster as opposed to the other two cards, which are okay, not good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about taking an Eye Soul Priest. Sunfury Protector's fine. I would like it, obviously, over my Blood Cell Raiders, but I'm pretty pretty happy to pick up this Soul, soul Priest. So I have got, what, one one Epic in this Blood Knight? Either way, this deck's okay. Um, not enough Chillwind Yetis. <laughs> and by not enough, I mean zero, and not enough two drops. I've got some good removal. I've got Area of Effect and Holy Nova. I've got... Stormwind, Temple Enforcer, Mind Control. I don't know. It's got some stuff. It can it can do some work. It can definitely win games this deck. Not really, not really planning on going 12 win or anything with it, but 
I don't know. Most of the time you can tell when you have a really, really powerful 12-win potential deck, and I don't think that this is one of them. It's not balanced, and it has huge holes in the game without having huge bombs to fill it up, but I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully hopefully I can I can manage to to win a bunch of games with it. <laughs> at least seven, maybe. Get back to uh, 150 gold. At least five, I guess, so I could complete my my mission, my quest. All right, let's get rid of these two. Got a shadow word pain. Not so bad. I mean, I've got to keep any two drop that I can find. So normally, playing a North Shark cleric is a really bad play on turn one. In case your opponent just plays a turn two, three, two, or a turn one, three, two. Um, but I've got a Shadow Word Pain, so I'm not that worried. I kind of want him to coin out a 3-2, and uh, then I can Shadow Word Pain it. What you got here, bro? Oh, that's awesome for me. <laughs> I just get to draw a free card. I mean, he's still got this, this thing out, but I'm very happy. <laughs> North Shark Cleric did its job. Scarlet Crusader here would be pretty sweet for me. <laughs> just immediately start out with a 6-6. I mean, my opponent could just have, like, a, a fireball to deal with that, but... We'll see. We shall see. Oh my god, please shoot this. Oh. <laughs> that would have just been sweet. Okay. I'm just gonna play this Blood Knight out. I'm gonna hit this thing. Could have drawn another card, but I do want to get a board presence before I fall too far behind. And next turn I can heal plus Shadow Word Pain, which I probably will end up doing. Yep, <laughs> for sure will end up doing. Okay, so I... Th Ooh. No, that doesn't help. Okay, so yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to heal this... draw a card. Soul Priest is a nice one. Um, actually, there's a, there's a small consideration for me to Shadow Word Pain this and then kill this so that I can actually just get both of these weakened so I can heal them. That being said, I have plays for the rest of the game, so I don't really want to be reliant on healing. Yeah, so the main reason I did that is because I see that my mana is going to be tied up with playing 5 drops and 4 drops and 7 drops and stuff like that um, for pretty much the rest of the game. So I don't want to leave myself in a position where I I am... Um, what's the word? Where it would where I want to be... I don't want to be in a place where I would want to be healing every turn. I'd rather just... I'd rather just... Uh, be able to trade, like, just drop bigger and bigger creatures. So the reason I, I played the Tiger over the Azure Drake is because I'd rather get a bigger creature on board. Drawing an extra card, again, doesn't do me that much good because I have good plays for a while now, so don't really need to play the Azure Drake. Alright, <laughs> sure. It's not very good for him. Whoops. Why is that a whoops? I guess because I can just eat that. It's kind of a whoops, I guess. Um, okay, I think what I'm just going to do here is... No, that doesn't do me any good. So if I play this thing, then I can just kill that. But I can't do anything else. So maybe I just kill those guys... This is this is actually kind of funny. I have like a bunch of ways to like not clear his board. And the only way to clear his board is basically just to kill his guys. So then I should just play the biggest thing that I can. Hmm. I don't really want Alcanai Soul Priest with Holy Nova. That that doesn't seem good. All right, I'm just going to just gonna trade guys and play an Azure Drake. Or not trade guys, but kill his guys. It's kind of annoying that I I just did that. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that wasn't the right play. Just gonna be able to kill this now. 
Yeah, maybe that wasn't the right play. Maybe I should have, like, Holy Nova'd. Could have attacked the 2-3 with this, then Holy Nova'd. Yeah, that might have been the right play. Hmm. So it could be a Mirror Entity. So I can't play this this uh, Stormwind Champion. Which is kind of annoying. But So first I'm just going to play this thing. Draw a card and see if that's a trap. No. It's not. <laughs> so it could be Vaporize or Ice Barrier. It's, those are the, the two most likely ones. I guess I'd rather lose this thing if it's Vaporize. It is Vaporize. And next turn I have to worry about Consecration. So I can play one more thing out. And I think I'm just going to heal myself. It's not really worth healing that guy back up to four. So yeah, I mean, this gives him a reasonable Consecration. He gets a two and a half for one, I guess. Not really, but he gets to remove a bunch of creatures from the board. I'm really not too concerned about this game going long. There are things that my opponent could have that would put me in a disadvantage situation, but for the most part, this should be pretty good. All right, so I am just going to, I think, just trade here with Dark Iron Dwarf, and then follow that up with a heal. So now my opponent has like a pretty reasonable consecration or uh, <laughs> flame strike, which is good because I wanted to get that out of his hand. Alternatively, I could have just played like a Stormwind Champion. What would that have done? He had he had a one four, so Stormwind uh, not really much. <laughs> Look at that value. All right, looks like I'll be able to play a Holy Nova this turn. I mean, alternatively, I could play a Stormwind. Or he's just going to kill my guy. Maybe I won't play Holy Nova. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably just play Stormwind. Stormwind and heal up one of my guys. I'm really not concerned with this game, actually, at this point. Yeah, because at this point, my opponent has to do a billion things break through a mind control and a holy fire and a shadow or death so like any of the big things that he could play are not too concerning even something like onyxia which is a big thing that comes with a big effect i can holy nova first and then shadow or death so i'm really really in in the driver's seat in this game okay i mean that's pretty good but i do have a mind control So he's got a fireball in hand. Sure. Okay. I will take this. Thank you. That is uh, very nice of you. I probably just had lethal this turn. But this is way more fun. I definitely, yeah, I had lethal. Easily lethal. Whoops. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Archmage Antonitis. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like shadow or death my own. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I might do that. <laughs> What's my opponent playing? He's just playing a messed up deck. I'm gonna fireball him to death. I don't care. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you can't stop me. Well, I guess he can stop me by quitting right here. But yeah, I don't really feel bad about not ending the game right away because he could have just conceded two turns ago when he was dead on board. Well, I guess he wasn't dead on board last turn, but he could concede now if he wants. I've never got to play an Archmage Antonitis. Alright, let's do it. Watch off! Thank you. Whee! <laughs> more fireball <laughs> this card is just silly it's just like oh you played a fireball you get a fireball unlimited fireballs till the end of the game all right i gotta go sadly it is time for me to go to class
But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will be back hopefully tomorrow with some more of this arena run. So have a wonderful day. Bye.